All right, we're going to walk through setting up scan to folder for a Samsung copier on Windows 7. So the first thing we want to do is create our folder. We're going to open up our file explorer, go to our C drive. Here we want to create a new folder, and we're going to name it scans. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. Right click the folder and go to properties. And here we want to go to the sharing tab. Click the share button. In the drop down, we're going to select everyone and add. Permission level, we're going to change to read and write and then share. Once that's done, go ahead and click done. Now, here we're going to want to copy the computer name here. Go ahead and close that out. And we're going to right click our folder again and create shortcut. This will create a shortcut on our desktop so we don't have to hunt for this folder in the future. There we go. Once that's done, go ahead and open up a web browser. All right, once your web browser is open, we're going to browse to our copier's web interface. What you'll need is the IP address from your copier. Make sure you don't use this IP address. Once you're there, you're going to click the login link. Now here, your login ID is going to be lowercase admin. And then the password is going to be one of a few different things. Admin123 and a period is the most common. If that doesn't work, you can try SEC and five zeros. That's Sierra, Echo, Charlie, and five zeros. If that doesn't work, try four ones. So one, 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 one. Once you're logged in, you're going to go to the address book. <clears throat> and then once you're here, we're going to click the Add button. Under Name, this is what you want to show up on the copier. Once you have that in, scroll down, check the box for Add SMB. SMB server address is going to be that computer name we copied earlier. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in there. Login ID is the login username for your computer. And then the password, of course, is the login password for your computer. Just keep in mind, if you ever change your password on your computer, you will have to come in here and edit this. Domain, if you're on a domain, of course, put your domain information here. If not, you are just on work group. And then the path is the name of the folder we created earlier. Once you're done, click Apply. And then go ahead and send a test scan. Now, typically, if your test scan does not go through, the main two reasons are virus protection or a firewall blocking it. You will then have to talk to your IT about that to see if they can resolve it for you. Beyond that, you're good to go. Thank you.